Despite the doubts and concerns created over the AstraZeneca vaccine, its effectiveness and origin, a large turnout was witnessed today at the Radisson Grand Beach Resort, which was designated as the vaccination station by the Ministry for Health this week. An appeal was made to frontline workers, including law enforcement officers, airport workers, hotel employees, taxi operators, media workers, among others, to get vaccinated this week. Recently, Health Minister Nicholas Steele referred to the vaccine as the answer to all our questions as it presented hope for a return to normalcy. Today, he reiterated the point as he expressed satisfaction with the turnout from the various sectors. I think the sector recognizes um, one and appreciates the stress and pressure they have been through as a result of COVID-19 and more importantly recognizes that the vaccination is a solution. And with us being vaccinated, we can look forward to an opening up of our economies and getting back to life as normal and finally putting COVID-19 behind us and in particular our tourism industry and our tourism workers. They recognize that and they recognize the risk of them not having the vaccine as frontline workers in the hospitality industry. GBN spoke to some of the people who were vaccinated, the majority of whom were from the tourism and hospitality sector. Most of them shared the same sentiment. It's the beginning of a means to restart the tourism and hospitality sectors. I think it's a fantastic thing. Uh, this is something we've been waiting for in Grenada, and it's a great opportunity for us to start to get our population protected from the pandemic. And I applaud the government and the GHTA and the GTA for making this all happen. Well, I think as we get, uh, look, right now we're in one of the, when when you're looking at the pandemic, we're one of the safest places in the world. But it's important that for people to understand, especially tourists when they come in here, that our staffs are vaccinated and that they're protected. So this is a really good step in the right direction in getting our tourism back on board. Well, I think for those hotels that are bringing, that are welcoming people from all over the world and... uh, we do, having a quarantine program, it's very important that they take it because that would be like the window to Grenada. That would be the window to introduce uh, COVID-19 to Grenada. So I think it's very important that they take it. So if they don't get it, then it's, it's less likely that it gets into the general population. I personally don't like noodles. So that was my personal phobia or fear. But other than that, not too much. I mean, people have been taking it for a lot of months now and I haven't heard anything too crazy that seems reliable. So far, nothing yet. Uh, it's been 10, 15 minutes, nothing yet. I'm um, very happy that this happens in Grenada because I believe this is a very important step to go forward to a no, so-called normal life. So I'm very happy. I'm feeling perfect. I'm sitting here waiting that I'm even feeling better. <laughs> And um, no, I find it's a very good initiative. It was uh, very pleasant, everything here, and uh, it was a very good experience. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell and officials from the Health Ministry, including Health Minister Nicholas Steele, were the first to receive the vaccine in Grenada on February 12th. They are expected to receive their second dose of the vaccine on March 26th. So far, Grenada received 6,000 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.